What if I go stronger? What if I get higher? What if I start doing things like Hi my beauties, welcome back to my channel. It is Beauty by Christy. Welcome if you are new to my channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. I will do my best. So today we are gonna be reviewing the new L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Full Coverage Foundation. So if you wanna see how this foundation did, then just stay tuned and keep on watching. So let's get right on into it. Today we are going to be reviewing the new Infallible Total Cover Foundation. It claims to be full coverage weightless feel. I got it in the shade 308 Sun Beige. It is supposed to be a finished natural. It wears up to 24 hours. Girl, if you wear your foundation for that long, that's a problem. And its texture is supposed to be air light. So let's see. Um, it also gives you like a pro tip and it says use everywhere face neck arms and legs to cover imperfections and skin tones now this claims to conceal tattoos we shall see about that um, I actually haven't seen any reviews on this foundation because I didn't want it to change my mind on what it is that I felt about it <clears throat> so let's get on right into it I'm also going to be reviewing the new sponges and I actually wet mine already so I didn't have to get up again. Um, these are the L'Oreal Blends Artist um, sponges and I posted them on my Instagram. If you don't follow me, I'll put a link here so that you guys can see it. Um, I found these to be really, when I saw them, they looked really cool so I wanted to try it and obviously they were smaller but they got bigger. This one is the concealer and this one is the contouring sponge so I had like a brain fart for a second <laughs> I'm just so sick I'm not here and I'm so sad because my birthday's coming I'm gonna be a hot mess Ugh. all right so I'm gonna put some foundation on my plate let's do this I'm gonna show you what it looks like actually so I don't know how much I'm gonna need whoa this is a thick all right we're gonna start with that just to see and it looks pretty thick the undertone looks a little pink and the color range for this was so weird I'm gonna say it was crazy weird I'm gonna moisturize these lips I'm using the best damn beauty this has been saving my life these days I'm not even gonna lie it's so good I already moisturized my face I use my ultra repair first aid cream Love this, especially since my nose is a little peeled from blowing it so much. Yeah. I'm going to use a primer because I always use a primer. So I'm going to be using the LC Radiant Primer. Just one pump of that. Everything burns around my nose, man. So I'm going to get right into it. Yeah, it has a weird undertone. It's like ashy gray. Can you guys see that? It's freaking weird. And I'm using the Morphe sponge. Um, it's okay. I like it. I'm going to try to get around the nose, but it is peeling, so I do expect to see some kind of flakiness around that area. It's weird. Like, it's not allowing me to leave the foundation on my nose. Put me on that one spot. I don't know if you can see that. right there now I am going to cream contour as I told you guys I want to use the other sponge so and I'm using the Anastasia palette it was this palette right here usually I would use my elf brush which looks like this this is amazing for me I don't it manipulates and moves the cream so good um, but again, you know, new things do come out and you want to stay in the trend. 
so I wanted to try it and see. However, I'm not a fan of the color because I know that it's going to look disgusting just after one application. But let's see how it does. Okay, so what I am seeing is that it's removing the foundation. I don't know if you can see that. And so this side did better. I don't know if it's because I have so much tightness pressure, but it actually hurts me to do this. I, the sponge is a little rough, it's a little dense. But I will say it blends it really easily. I probably should have not did my nose. It's just making me feel like I want to sneeze now. I don't know if it was the best to do with this foundation. Let's see, let me keep going with the concealer one now. I'm gonna prep my under eye as you guys know already. So it cosmetic under eye cream. Do the Becca on the eye brightener. And I'm gonna take my concealer. I'm gonna be using the shape tape and loving this guys. Obsessed, especially. I'm using a light medium. For a little extra brightness, I'm going to use light. And let's see how the concealer sponge does. Okay, this one I like better already. It feels softer. It's very precise. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's so good. I like this. I wish I would have gotten to really good. Oh, this is so good. I'm telling you. I'm loving this little sponge. This is my new man. Alright. Here's what we look like so far. I'm going to continue the face and then come back in the end and show you guys and let you know my final thoughts. And we're back. Oh my god. Do my lip. I'm gonna be using one of the Coco. This is Ochre in the Coco collection. I also have a giveaway going on. Don't sleep on it. Enter, it ends Monday. I will be picking a winner on Monday night. I'm all about glossy lips these days. So here is the final look. I'm gonna zoom on in so you guys can see the skin better. And here it is. I didn't put any powder or anything on top, um, other than my my blush and my bronzer I used Mac Gimme Sun and the blush was um, by Sleek Cosmetics in Flame and I used this one right here 
I like I used Artist Couture in Coco Bling. What's on the foundation is that it looks very matte, but not like L'Oreal Infallible matte. Like, like you look like a doll. It's amazing. Like you look airbrushed and flawless. Like I won't even lie. However, something I do see is if you have a lot of facial hair, this can adhere to it. Um, like if you didn't, if you have like a lot of peach fuzz, obviously if you have a mustache and you didn't like have time to do it, this will adhere to it. Um, it did cling on to like hair that I have here and it makes it like a little grayish, like muddy kind of. Um, and when you, obviously when you put product on top of it, it manipulates it and shows more. Another thing was when I was trying to contour on this side, I know you can see it still, it like skipped and took off the foundation. This side was good, but this side is kind of not so good. And I think it's because of the facial hair, like I do have more facial hair on this side than I do on this side. Um, why? I don't, I honestly don't know. Um, but other than that, it looks extremely airbrushed. You look like a doll it's amazing now does it cover tattoos let's see put some on my tattoo so no cat bondy it's still there obviously but it's very light so maybe you can build and it will go away um but it's Definitely still there. <laughs> it's a little sticky, I won't lie. Let's see. I like to do this with foundation, so I didn't get anything on the napkin, if you can see. And I am pressing it hard on my face, and it is a cream. I didn't set it with any powder or any spray. I didn't even use Fix Plus. Can you honestly believe that? It's crazy. And I look so flawless. It's amazing. My overall review on the foundation is that it is full coverage. It does feel weightless. You don't feel it on the face for it being so doll-like. Like, like you literally look like a Barbie doll. Like, my skin is not this good. No. I can't even see my skin tags. Like, it's amazing. It's a really good foundation. Um, the color range on this, uh, not so good. There's a lot of pink undertones. And I saw a lot of ranges of colors. It wasn't like I did, wasn't able to. And I was having a hard time trying to match myself. So I will say that the color range for this is kind of tricky. Um, it claims to be up to 24 hours. I will not wear a foundation for 24 hours, so I honestly can't tell you. The most I would be able to wear a foundation is 10 to 12 hours, and that's pushing it. Um, but it is natural like finish, yes. It is 24 hours, we don't know about that girl. Um, it is coverage high complete, yes, yes, yes. And the texture is air light, yes. This is a foundation that will make you look like a doll, most definitely. If you have facial hair, again, like I said, it will adhere to it. That is something that I did see automatically. The only thing that I would say I have an issue with the foundation is that it adheres to hair a lot and obviously it gets into the fine lines like it is a cream base so like my fine lines here it's already accentuating them I'm not a fan of that color range that was it for me overall that like i said i would give the foundation a eight um i'm gonna go out and run some errands and then i will list down below my final feedback for you guys but yeah here is the first impression on it i hope that it helped you guys this again is the shade 308 sun beige also my giveaway is on monday so don't forget if you haven't entered please enter share so everyone else can it's a nice little christmas early christmas gift for you guys so my next giveaway will be on instagram so stay tuned for that i hope that you guys liked and enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up if you did let me know if you like first impressions so i can do some more of them and Comment below and let me know if you like the foundation and if you didn't, what didn't you like about it. I don't think I have anything else to say other than thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.